This is the powder shaker for the Textile DTF 300. And this is the powder shaker for the Textile DTF 600. Now, both the shakers for the 300 and the 600 work on the same principle. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use them. So to start with, I'm going to feed the DTF film through the shaker. Then feed it through over the preheating plate, past the unit and through the oven. Then on the other side of the oven, bring it down past the fence. And once it's down here, you can use tape, off-cut vinyl or pretty much anything to stick this film onto your take-up roller. You have to make sure that everything is properly aligned and that your film is not going skew. And once that's ready, you can go ahead and do your print. And once your print is done, this is what happens. So as you send more prints, the film goes through all the way until it reaches your take-up roller. And what happens in between is what we're about to get to now. So let's get to the control unit. So what are all these fancy buttons? Right, I'll tell you. All right, this here is your main power switch, which powers the machine on. And then you have your on and off switch, which we'll use also to power the machine on. Right, then what do we have here? The rest of the buttons, this is the cooling button. This is for your fans. And this is for the shaking, which does the excess powder of your film. The next button we have is your dusting. This helps feed the powder onto your film. And then the next button is the curing. This is the on and off switch for your oven. And then next up, we have these two dials here. First one being the shaking speed. This regulates how much speed your shaking is moving at. The next one, we have the dusting speed, which also regulates how much speed the duster moves at. So in this video, we are going to be transferring our prints onto cotton. And for that particular reason, I'm going to be using the heat setting of 120 degrees. And for the preheating, we are just going to leave this on 50 degrees. And for this project, we are going to be using cotton. And now that we are done with the settings, the next thing that we do is we now pour our powder onto our dusting unit. There are no strict rules onto how much powder you need to fill, but generally speaking, I like to fill it up to a quarter. So as you can see, the film is moving through the dusting unit and then goes past that onto that slag where it gets powdered up. And now look at that. The powder is actually sticking to the ink. And then from there, it moves all the way up into the oven. So in the oven is where the curing takes place. And then once that's done, the film moves past the fans for cooling and drying it just before it reaches the take-up roller. So now, note how much powder is left down here in the shaker. And that powder falls down into the trays. And that's really cool because you can just pick this powder up and reuse it. And now with that done, all that's left to do is cutting off my print and then take it for heat pressing. But before we get to that, 
Let me take you through the control unit of the 300 powder shaker. So this over here is the 300 powder shaker. As you can see over here, we have our main switch. And then first switch on the left is for your oven. And then the next switch is for your shaking. And then the last switch on the right is for your dusting. And on this knob is where you control your shaking speed. And then up here is where you do your temperature for your oven. So that's how the shaker works. And this is the final result. Hope you enjoyed this video, catch you on the next one.